Hello there, once again, this is Anton from Anton Old Bay, and I recently acquired a complete run of Warp. And I don't know tons about Warp. I've looked at a few issues in the past, uh, and I just thought, man, they are one of the weirder looking comics I've ever seen. Their interiors are just bizarre uh, and beautiful. And so I like, well, if I can get the whole set, may as well do it. And I ended up getting it, got a pretty good deal on it. So I just thought, man, let's just start going through it and uh, kind of look at this whole book at a breakdown. Uh, you got a lot of wizards, you got a lot of space, uh, you got a whole bunch of just oddness going on, it looks like. You got that uh, black dude who looks like he's wearing Van Halen's guitar skin. Um, that's stuff that I remember. Uh, there's a moth lady. That's kind of creepy. Or, or attractive. I'm not sure. I, I, or I admire it. I don't know. Uh, you got beautiful, beautiful scenes of space cities and all this stuff. And just flipping through it is what made me want the series. Because I'm like, this series is so bizarre. Uh, I think she has one chainmail arm. She's got the really round uh, breast plates or bowls, whichever you want to describe those as. Looks like she's got telekinetic powers. And it looks just gorgeous. Like, kind of reminds me of Jason the Wheeled Warriors in some of these pages. And this guy, uh, it's Prince Chaos and he prepares for war. The red guy. Then we get another story, Sargon, Sargon Mistress of War. Things going on. Yeah, it, it, first comics. Uh, so first comics is like an imprint of DC, right? Um, cause I could see, I could see some similarities to like Warlord in this. Come fools, come to me and die. And then like, that's very splattered. That is probably not comic code authority. Doesn't look like it. I would doubt it. Which is pretty wild, considering we need that we need some we need some the year on this thing. It's a context going on. 1982. So this was a year after I was born. Uh, so we got warp number two. More of the tiger stripe disco king going on. Uh, beautiful big opening pages with this book. Just gorgeous. Like the art. It has so many elements that you want in a comic, which is the weird uh, barbarian gal, uh, space knights, uh, space wizards, uh, floating city on asteroid. You know, a lot of like key beautiful elements to both sci-fi and sword and sorcery fiction. And it looks like it's blending it just amazingly. And it also, because some of these books... Like, they just go with a premise and then they relax. They don't go all out and give you pages and pages of weird action. And this looks like they're not going to pull any punches on that. They're going to stay weird. Even the, the panel shapes are rather odd. And there are Lord, or, uh, I almost said Lord, uh, Die Lord Cumulus, um, Cumulus or whatever. We also still got quite a bit of book left. Uh, Perils of Peregrine, the Faceless Ones. Um, so the fact that they give you these stories in the back is also pretty awesome because we're getting our main story, but we're getting these weird little follow-up tales, I guess, of other characters in other places. And this looks like a much older story, just the way that it's broke down in smaller, normal panels. The art looks older, too. I'm kind of curious about this. Presenting the unhappy F-Men in E-Man 2. I have a few issues of E-Man. I should probably give those a look over sometime. Glenwood Distributors Incorporated. And, oh my god, I'm dead. Warp number three. Beautiful opening page again. They're just going to consistently knock it out of the park with the weirdness of on full display here. The 
That is a gorgeous and bizarre page. Hmm. Butterfly Lady is having an issue. That is a big, awesome... That, that creature apparently ate a whole castle at one point because it's in its bones. Nice hat. Oh no, he's getting pre-stabbed. Sorry, gonna lie. Don't be too hasty, my lord. Mm -hmm. Butterfly woman looks like she's making a cocoon. Oh, the faceless ones and the mask in hand. We got more stuff going on in the back. Once again, these look like older, almost Jack Kirby-ish type uh, stories broken down into very small little panels. That's the small panels is what makes me think it's a vintage vintage story. Uh, that's pretty standard for like the ye olden times. Uh, da, da, da. So the moth lady is a villain, apparently. National Runaway Switchboard. Hm. Awesome sauce. I'm excited by this series. Like I said, I've only had a couple issues. I haven't ever like been able to... I hate to read a comic when I only have a, an issue or two. Um, it's just a thing. Uh, now that I have a full set, it's something I do want to pour into. Just some visually odd, yet like stunning. It's stunningly beautiful, yet bizarre. I ain't mad at it. Dinosaurs. I was wondering where those were. We were going to need some of those. We got space monkeys now. Because you got to have all that stuff going on. All at the same time. And I, I don't like his little placement of that. It looks kind of creepy. But I guess everybody has a weird thing on their junk, so it it works. Just gonna put weird symbols, and since we're only wearing strange pants like that, that's where we're gonna hang them. United we stand, divided we die. The Faceless Ones, Jack Harris, Steve Ditko is the artist. Ah! Based on characters from the play Warp by Stuart Gordon and Burr St. Edmund. I remember there being something weird like this was based on a like a play or a Broadway play or something like that uh, which is just that's even more nuts thinking of it that way and I'm glad that I don't have to see any of these costumes in person on real people because that could be way more disturbing. I'm looking forward to getting through the rest of the series just because these are, I don't know, just mega odd. Who are you? Chaos and Valeria together again for the first time. Uh, Peter Gillis, Howard Chaikin, and George Freeman. First, you were crazy. You are doing crazy stuff first. Anyway, yeah, that's Warp 1 through 4, and it is warped, and it is beautiful and strange, and I am excited to have them, and I'm excited to share them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to get to the rest of these. Uh, that's my story. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.